G'day everyone! Oh, it's a bit chilly here this morning, uh, but the sun is shining and it's not windy and best of all, it's not raining, so it's a beautiful day for working on the bus. And today, now that I've got all the insulation done, I can start putting up the wall linings. So as you can see here all of the walls are covered up with the insulation and what I'm going to do now is cover over the top of all of those with some thin sheets of ply. So basically all the way along under the windows on each side and then these walls here at the back I'll be um, covering the entire wall with ply. And the reason for that is one just to help to protect the insulation from getting uh, scratched and, and torn and also um, this ply lining that I'm putting up on the walls will actually form the back of the cupboards and things that I'm building in here. Um, and yes, that is a fridge that you can see in the back of the bus. This is actually one of the reasons why my layout is quite a bit different from most people's. It's because I'm trying to fit this monstrosity in. I actually bought this fridge to put in my first bus, which was a full-size bus, and obviously it would have fit in there quite nicely. Um, but it is such an awesome fridge, and I love it, and I just wasn't prepared to give it up when I moved into the coaster. So I've basically, I mean, as you can see, it only just fits it's in there um, the door's not on yet so it will actually come out a fraction more than what you see there um, but I've pretty much designed my layout for the most part around this fridge so I hope it lasts I'll be very disappointed if it breaks down and I have to replace it um, but yeah I mean guys check out have a look at that size of that freezer space how awesome is that so yeah, so I brought the fridge in the other day because I wanted to, A, to make sure it was definitely going to fit um, and also just to get a sense of exactly where I was going to put walls and things and it's such a pain to get in and out. I've just decided I'm going to leave it in there for now. Anyway, it can stay in there for today. So I'm going to make a start on cutting up the sheet supply and I'll just start with the sections under the windows first um, and then I'll move to the back. These ones here will be a bit trickier obviously because I'll have to cut a little bit out of the ply to fit around the wheel arches. first piece in <laughs> I'm just using these little flathead nails for now to hold them in there um, these are not going to be any good long term obviously because with movement of the bus these nails would just come loose and the sheets would fall off but the idea is that the nails will just hold the ply up there for now because when I come to build the frames for all my cabinetry and the interior walls I'll actually be um, screwing the frames like through this ply into the battens that I've got underneath so um, that will actually hold the ply sheets onto the wall in the long term these nails are just for now to hold the ply sheets up in place while I can get the rest of the framing done It's a very chilly morning here this morning. Um, so the other day I managed to get all of the ply up on to the side walls. Um, and it already looks really different with the ply up. It's very exciting. Um, I haven't yet done the back wall, but I have finally figured out 
kind of how I'm going to do it and I made a start on the framing up there. So I'll show you what it all looks like now. I've done all the ply lining underneath the windows there and the full walls at the back on both sides. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's a little bit rough, um, especially around the wheel arches and there's a few gaps in between the sheets like this one here you can see there's quite a big gap there um, but you know that's what trims for and like I said pretty much all of this ply um, is going to be hidden at the backs of cabinets and behind furniture and other things so you're not really going to see any of this now the back wall um, has been a challenge for a long time I was toying with the idea of actually putting a built-in shower in my bathroom at the back um, I've decided I'm not going to do that I'm going to go back to my original plan to just have a pop-up shower inside um, so that makes framing and sealing the bathroom a lot easier because I'm basically just going to have a vanity and storage on this side and my composting toilet on this side. So I don't have to worry anywhere near as much about making all the area around the taillights like fully sealed off and waterproof. So what I've decided to do is actually use the original taillight cover panels that but were in the bus originally when I bought it um, I had to trim them up just a fraction at the bottom just so that they fit in now that I've got the vinyl flooring and everything in um, and as you can see I've just put some timber pieces around those um, and now I'll go ahead and line the back wall with the ply sheets as well so hopefully that will look okay um, and I'll still be able to just pop those panels off when I need to access the tail lights which hopefully won't be very often so yeah so I still have that section at the very back to finish off with the ply but I'm going to leave that as it is for now because my dad is actually available this weekend to help me start with the ceiling line so we're going to go ahead and make a start on that while he's able to help Help me with that and then I'll come back at a later stage and finish off the lining on the back wall but yeah I'm pretty pleased so far with how it's looking uh, it's actually starting to look a little bit more like a house and less like a bus which is exciting so um, that's it for this video the next video hopefully will be me putting up the ceiling in the bus so stay tuned